Well, we find ourselves looking at a Monday once again. Thanks for clicking on Weather on Demand. I'm meteorologist Sean Householder for UpperMichiganSource.com. And I wasn't kidding when I was talking about a dreary weekend. Unseasonably cool, cloudy, drizzly most of the weekend. And uh, take a look at our almanac from Sunday. A record setting low temperature, 52. That's 24 degrees below the long term average of 76 is what we expect. It's even cooler than the overnight low that we expect for this time of year. And that 52, it broke the record uh, low high temperature for yesterday's date of uh, 61. That was set back in 1972. So, and Saturday was also a record breaking low high temperature, by the way. Here's what we're watching now. And this is still that same old low pressure system that uh, we were tracking last week. And it seems like I've just been making this hand motion all week long and uh, over the weekend too. But we start to clear out. That's tossing some moisture across the eastern UP, some spotty showers, and uh, high pressure starting to build in from the south dries us out. You can see plenty of sunshine across the uh, western half of the UP, and uh, that'll be the theme today as we move through our Monday. Now, that did allow for a pretty chilly overnight in some spots, especially across the western interior and along the Wisconsin line. Low 40s. We saw uh, Iron River dip down to 40 briefly this morning. Otherwise, though, temperatures have been running into the uh, upper 40s and low 50s. As you can see at the 8 o'clock hour, we're only running into the low 50s. Marquette rating 51. Copper Harbor is 51 too. Over towards the Sioux, it's 54. And uh, downstate, Detroit rating 59 degrees. Milwaukee checking in at 59 also. So we use dew points, a measure of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. That gives us an idea of the comfort level and also just how dry we'll see uh, temperatures get. And uh, I'll tell you what, 50, not bad. Last week we were dealing with dew points into the 60s. We'll actually continue to see this number falling into the 40s thanks to all the dry air working in. That is mainly uh, thanks to this high pressure strengthening just to our south. We pick up on plenty of sunshine, but here's the next front we'll be watching. And as we look ahead at Tuesday, there it is on the approach and we'll start to see uh, winds out of the south. So that does warm us up to around seasonal, but uh, that uh, warm air is short lived. As you can see, we've got showers threatening by Tuesday night and we could see a few rumbles of thunder by Wednesday. Take a look at what's happening this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine, especially across west and eventually central UP. And it's a mix of sun and clouds in the east. Some morning drizzle in the east, and then that gets kicked out of here by all this dry air working in. Temperatures warmest across the western interior into the low 70s. It's cool by the shoreline, but still it's a pretty nice day. Low 60s for highs there and a look at tonight mainly clear and it's calm too. So temperatures really bottom out, especially across the uh, Interior locations away from the lake, low and mid 40s for lows, but it holds to around 50 in some of the warmest spots by the shorelines. Here's a quick check on your Tuesday. Plenty of sunshine up and down across the UP, but we do see increasing clouds across the western UP later in the day out ahead of that next front. It is coolest by the shoreline, low 70s, but looking inland, upper 70s, so that's about seasonal. I think all in all, though, on your TV six day forecast, We've got below average temperatures all week long. Uh, best chance for showers and storms will be Wednesday. Uh, some more drizzle is possible uh, Friday. It's not a washout by any means. We dry out for a cool weekend. Have a great work week.